And that is why the United Nations group has been this year. I said we need to inspire inclusion. We need to inspire inclusion in the area of education. We need more girls, more women to be educated. We need, we need to inspire inclusion in the area of health. Women, girls must have access to quality and affordable health. That when they are in any health condition, they should have access to it. We don't want women to be blind anymore, especially in the area when the woman is pregnant. We want to see how to reduce more mortality rates. We also inspire inclusion in the area of security for women. We want women to be secure wherever they are, whether in the city or in the village. We want women to be secure. We want to inspire inclusion in the area of leadership. We want to see more women in leadership position, whether in profession, in career, in politics. We want to inspire inclusion. And this morning, I have with me people that are going to look at the program, program and at the team. Inspire inclusion. How do we invest in women to accelerate progress in the society? And I will call on Dr. Adelson. How do we, how do girls or women, the young women, how are they set eyes on the goal? Based social and cultural restrictions. That's what we're supposed to talk about. But I've tried to try to capture it and the title, but title is Rights of the Story. It's one of these things to understand that we have all these limitations, and that this is as good as life itself. So we have all these limitations, whether social, cultural, religious, whether limitations, self limitations as well. So there will be always limitations. One of the things that we need to have to do is recognize that it is part of the journey. So what I've done today, all the knowledge of students, and what I've done today is capture, try to capture how you write your story using the five W's and the H. Presume that we're all familiar with five W's and the H. Yes. Okay, so the first part of this conversation is right. I think maybe one of the challenges we have in engaging with challenges and barriers that society has to us to understand how these religious challenges, cultural challenges, social challenges, they are everywhere in the world. Some countries of the world are part of the challenges and gone through it to get to the like, at an advanced stage in terms of how they challenge or dealt with these things. So yes, men can vote, men can contest, they have more women, female representation in politics in some countries of the world. So in Nigeria, just with a simple way, they are still too far behind. So it just tells you that this is just it's a matter of time. Okay, it's a matter of time. In acting, in film, these challenges are there, so it's just a matter of time. So the first thing you need to understand in dealing with is who are you? Identity is very important in addressing these challenges. Don't know who you are, they are going to have a lot of issues. With when you encounter these barriers, whether they are social, whether they are cultural, whether it's old, you can get from the aspect or stereotype of women who don't do the kitchen and the other room. If you don't know who you are, when these challenges come at you, then it means that you are going to fail, it means that you are going to falter. But so once you know who you are, you define that this is who I am. That's the first of me. This is who I am. This is what I'm meant to be. I'm going to be a journalist. Just to explain to you, so that you understand that women are faced challenges, even in Nigeria. Kaushika, first female chairperson on the board of Fertility. And I was just recently, that was that over your twenty years old. And we're just going to get their first wheelchair because we got her just a couple of years ago. So it tells her the challenges are there, but she overcame those challenges. And then it is for long short language. Anytime they are mentioning, oh, we test man in Africa, we test man in Nigeria, and need is mentioned. So just to tell you that no, despite all the limitations that are around, 
There are women that are breaking these barriers. There are Kenya editors of this world producing film that are breaking records. So just to bring it home for you. So the point is, if you don't know who you are, when this challenge is called, then you feel as, oh, I'm the only one that is facing these challenges. So understand that there will always be challenges. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to be here this morning. And I believe we are all here. And I believe you are happy to be a woman, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. If you are happy to be a woman, let me say, let me say, ah. Ah. Yes. Now, I'm happy to be a woman. Now, today we are celebrating the International Women's Day. And today's role is it. And if I may ask, did any of us even know who brought about this international Has anybody come across the person that brought about this international Day? Now, there was a time, 1910, 1910, a particular woman called Clara Zetti. He was a leader of the Women's Forum. And he belongs to the Caucus of the Social Democratic Party in Germany. He was the particular person that settled the idea of having the international women's group. I thought about the proposal that this same group should be celebrated all over the world, same day, same time. And so that's why we are here today. Celebrating International Women Day. Why? It's to fight gender inequality and to prevent gender bias. So that's the main reason why we are here to celebrate ourselves. And you know, without a woman, there is no nation. They have with me. Yes. And so, talking about us, we want to look into our health. Defines health as well. He defines that as a complete state of social well being of the individual, not merely absence of disease or infirmities. That is, for you to be healthy, you must be physically fit, socially stable, and mentally alert. The spiritual aspect, there's when you talk about health, it has three components. Your spiritual, your physical, and your mental. The spiritual aspect, I just want us to appreciate some are Muslim. Some be, you know, belong to the idol worshippers. Some are idol worshippers. Some don't even believe in anything at all. But they just believe that there's a God. And so for you to be spiritually attacked, to be spiritually healthy, the first thing is that you have to have a close relationship with your maker, with whoever you believe in. If you are a Christian, you must belong to a particular denomination. You must be able to associate with a particular member you know, of worshippers. And if you are a Muslim, so also you must belong to a particular Are we communicating? Yes, ma'am. Then you must be at peace with your creator. For you to be spiritually healthy, you have to be at peace with yourself and be at peace with your creator. Then you have to have comfort in the Supreme Court. And you will be able to have peace even whenever you are going to act. Knowing fully well that you believe in God or whatever you believe in. And that spiritual entity, that supreme being, is always there to hear. So you, have, you must have a good relationship with whatever you believe in. Then the mental aspect. You know, women, we have so many qualities. It ranges from being compassionate. Women are emotional. Women are empathic. Women they like to build up others. They are ambitious. 
they are hungry. We are supporting. But remember, when you are not mentally stable, you will be trashing them of us. And so, psychologically, because it's stable. And in order to attend this, so many people find themselves, whenever they go through stress, little stress, you know, they fall into depression. And so, our mental health is very, very important. Ability to cope with stress. That's the best thing when you talk about the mental health. How have I been able to cope with stress? Looking at the situation we find ourselves in, when you go to the market as a woman, you realize that things are going on high. Then how am I able, how would I be able to cope with the stress of financial constraints? How would I be able to be able to manage a little bigger resources at your disposal? How would I be able to cope with the financial stress with the demand that I'm facing as a woman? Don't run away from you because people are running away from you because people are running away from 
So that is very, very important. That's one thing I just want to say to you. Inspire yourself. And you are glad that you are coming into an industry that people are going to say that you are not competent to something. It's what you are able to do that will show you. I wanted to say, I, I, I wanted to read something for you. I got this one paragraph. Last night I saw this book. It's about a book about Christian journalism, but it's something that applies to us. So as a woman, she got into a position, she became a big one because she started very small. So I'm going to read just one paragraph. It says, and I am young and I know this. When I do, I think, what do I think I am doing? Working into a publishing house. I don't even know what the production editor is. And here I am one. Such are my thoughts on the bleak September morning as I push open the back door and walk into the office of a magazine I have known about for years. The day is cool, but my hands are sweating. And I'm not sure my left will carry me down the hall and to the publisher's office. We have to read the manager editor who has hired me. And the publisher who is, going to, who is going to find out how much I do or I do not know about magazine publishing. The point here is that sometimes many of us think we are not capable. And that is where we live your career. So it's important that you have that self-confidence. If you don't have self-confidence, you'll be able to overcome whatever challenge. So again, the money is because I want them to, uh, I don't want them to take much of time. What is important is that. We are able. We are able. And when we ask for permission, we can get it. Don't let people tell you that nobody has done it, who has not done it. The important newspaper that we mention. Just a well, let's like this as this example. What has never had a woman who is the editor of the Saturday or Sunday? But a young lady who came to NIJ, who studied biochemistry. Became a journalist, joined Punch, and in a number of years, she became the first woman to be Sunday editor. And then Miss Rose also took her. She became the Sunday editor in a paper that had never produced a woman editor. And they were planning to make her the daily editor. Guess what happened? BBC hired her. She became the head of BBC in the whole of West Africa. You can check her name, and her name is Rose Dean Ogunche here. You will think that it's even enough. Today she is the president of an NGO, like an international NGO in the United States of America. So that's a woman that sets out. The first time I knew her, she was a student. She was a student just like us. And she just like writing. And what made her what she is today is her ability to write. Don't think you are not able. Do what you need to do. People will correct you. The next time you show up, you will be the expert. So once again, my advice is, you will be yourself if you don't you. Have a point to make. Speak up when you need to speak up. Doesn't mean that you are arrogant or whatever. But do it intelligently. So once again, I want to congratulate you and uh, wish you a happy international movement. Thank you for coming. Madam, yeah, may I get to know uh, what are your duties and your responsibilities at this event? Okay, my name is Mifano. I'm the coordinator of the Shaping for Social Impact and Sustainable Development. Yeah, um, we have an interface session with NIJ female students to commemorate 2024 International Women's Day. What was it meant to achieve and what has it achieved at this moment? The International Women's Day this year has the team invest in women as a direct And we discovered that when we invest in women, we have a better society. And partnering with the Nigeria Institute of Journalism is because these they have women who are in information in us. These are women that we inform the society that will inform the society for a better inclusion of black women. And so we know that partnering with them and doing the capacity building for female students of this institution is going to go a long way to inspire them 
for being the best in their career, for being the best in their uh, education, and by the time they go out there, they are going out with their full potential for believing themselves. Thank you. Yours is initiative for social impact and sustainable development. What are your aims and objectives? The aims and objectives of social impact and sustainable development, ISISD, is to ensure the social, economic um, empowerment of women, youth, children, and women. We are looking at how we can ensure that women and youth and children in the society get the best of no, get the best and be the best that they can be so that Nigeria and the world as a whole will be a better place for every one of us. Because we know that when when you empower a woman, you are empowering the nation. And when we have gender equity is going to be for the benefit of every one of us in the society. Thank you very much, Madam. God bless you. Thank you, sir. All right, madam. Thank you.